it's a grower. I'm assuming you've looked at the sauce, you know what we're well, doing. Well, I so I know your the way your uh, heat rating thing looks, and that's all I've seen. So, so you're assuming that you are you know what we're doing. I do. Okay. I am super proud of this sauce. Zach is a genius. This is a, sa a sauce that I wanted to make before we did Ghost of Saffron, but this is a pretty niche sauce. Niche? How did I not niche? Niche. niche? niche? I say niche. I say niche. 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 This is my second collaboration hot sauce with High Desert Sauce Company. The sauce, in my opinion, is absolutely incredible. But you have to take this with a grain of salt because remember, my name is on the front of this bottle. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it, but honest, but I have to say that I'm trying to sell this to you at the same time. Okay. This is my second sauce that I've came out with uh, with High Desert. I love this sauce so much. I love this style of sauce so much, and this is. Um, very true to an authentic mole that we put our own twist on. So there's cold brew coffee in here. It's fantastically delicious for cold brew coffee. I went to Tucson. I just got back like four hours ago. Yeah, you did. And I went and made this sauce with Zach on Monday. It is Wednesday. The day this video is coming out is, the, is I'm filming it. And it was a pain in the ass to make because there is so many ingredients and there is so much going on in this sauce. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. At the at, um, as of we filmed this, Zach has said that he's going to make about three to four more batches of this sauce. The first batch of this sauce was two thirds of the way sold out from when we started filming this. So, if you see this video today, the day it comes out, if you if the sauce interests you, interests you, jump on it. Okay, into the sauce. We're calling it a hot. We're calling it hot. A hot sauce. Okay. Let me read my own my own bio that I wrote okay. and see how I did. Okay. All right, the first time I had mole, I wasn't prepared for the life trajectory it would point me towards. I've been on the search for amazing versions ever since. There are tons of lazy, bland attempts out there, and this is not one of those. This hot sauce pays tribute to all the classic mole flavors with fun original twists. The blend of toasted pasilla, mulatto, ancho, chocolate habanero, and chocolate bootla chilies create the savory complex element that the style is known for and delivers a respectable amount of heat that we know you'll appreciate. The spice blend continues to add depth and the addition of cold brew coffee takes this hot sauce to another level. In my book, it sets itself apart from anything I've ever had. Zach is a genius. Please enjoy this extremely limited hot sauce. Cherish every drop as I know I will. And then, Brad Ames. Um, there's a lot going on in this sauce. The list of ingredients is gigantic. Um, it's a very, I'm just gonna, okay, we're getting into it. Here we go. Ingredients are distilled vinegar, fire roasted tomatoes, crushed tomatillos, cold brew coffee, cider vinegar, dates, toasted chilies, which are pasilla, mulatto, ancho, chocolate habaneros, and chocolate bootlas. When we put the chocolate bootlas in there, it caused a coughing fit that would not stop for like 15 minutes. <laughs> it was insane. I took a face full of chocolate bootla powder dust to my eyes, and it destroyed me. Agave and nectar, toasted pumpkin seeds, toasted cacao powder. We put a lot of cocoa powder in this. And it really? Made, yeah, oh yeah. And it, it's still that far down the list? Dude, it made it, cleaning the kettle so fun. <laughs> Zach cleaned it, but we were <laughs> having a whole conversation about it. Sesame seeds, kosher salt, toasted pine nuts, garlic, tortilla chips. These are the best freaking tortilla chips I've ever had. Are they local out there? Yes, they're local to Tucson. They're okay. so good. <laughs> the tortilla, I don't know what they're doing in Tucson with tortillas, but their tortillas and their tortilla chips are absurd. Anyways, the tortilla chips. Uh, peppercorns, coriander, garlic granules, cinnamon, and cloves. It's a good list. There's a lot going on It's here. a good list, though. All super high quality ingredients. I'm excited for this. So, I have had um, a couple test batches of this sauce, and before I went there, we decided it wasn't hot enough, so we actually added more chocolate bootlas. Okay. okay, so it's hotter than the original test batches. Everything else is the exact same. Come. Okay. Now, that being said... It's a good cut. We tasted the sauce, and it's a grower. So the first time <laughs> you taste it, you're like, eh, it's, it's, it's hot. But it's not gonna like rock your. It's not gonna destroy you. But the more you eat, it compounds. The more it destroys you. It compounds itself. Okay. So chocolate bootlas are what are my favorite. One of my favorite. Okay, I love ghost peppers and I love chocolate bootlas. So ghost peppers are a. 
It's weird to say this out loud. They're almost like a mild super hot at this point in the world of super hots. That's, I mean, it's the truth, though. At a million Scoville. It's the truth, though. You know? I like, mean, because, yeah. They're like on the lower side. Chocolate bootlas are extraordinarily hot peppers. They always have a lot of oil in them, and but they taste great. Yeah. They taste so good. Hear that pop? I kept, I kept every single one of these freaking bottles. <laughs> All freaking, the first batch over, uh, like, over 800 bottles of these freaking things. <sighs> I'm excited for this. Dude, it smells so good. Um, okay, so it's um, it's savory. You get a little bit of a vinegar note. There's it's that um, is an incredible pour. You, I, it, dude, the texture a is beautiful. unbelievable. A beautiful pour. This this sauce is like a passion project for me and Zach. Um, that smells so good. you pick up a little bit of the vinegar, but not too much of it. Tons of savory notes, some seedy kind of things going on. I smell that the the cacao powder, or whatever. The, the, the cacao, the cacao powder. A lot of chocolate. Yeah, notes that's going what I'm, on. I smell that up front, and some of the the vinegar. Mm -hmm. So it should be. So you got like a lot of savory notes, extremely complex. Yeah. Um, and hot. It smells so good. It's so good. Cheers. Hmm. It's gotten better since Monday when we made it. Or that is incredible. was it Monday? It was Monday we made the sauce. So it's got to sit in the bottle and it's got to hang out. It's got to chill. And it's got to. It's got they, they all those flavors got to like kind of come together. Come a together little better, and hang out. Better. You know yeah. they got to party together. Oh, it's so tasty. What is that I'm tasting? Uh, a lot of stuff. There's one taste that I can't like pinpoint. Um, like all. Honestly, it's like... Is it the tomatillas? There's a lot of tomato and a lot of tomatillos in here. Okay, so maybe that's what it is. So you're getting that, like the initial flavors, honestly, you're going to get tomatillo and tomato and vinegar blend. Yes. Okay? And then you're going to get rocked by the, like, the pepper blend. It also could be a little bit of that ice, co that coffee, too. And the coffee. Yeah, that the might cacao. be what it is. That The cacao powder definitely comes out on the back end of it. But, yeah, there was a taste I couldn't pinpoint, but it was incredible. God, I love the texture. Good so burn, much. all mouth heat. So you're gonna get, yeah, like I said, so you're gonna get like the vinegar acidic yes. forefront yes. sweetness from the tomatoes and the tomatillos. Yep. And then you're gonna get all the toasted peppers, the anchos, yeah, that, sav that savory hits second. Like, and the savory comes in yeah. and it's just a super complex on the back end of it. Um, I love this sauce so much. This is incredible. It is so tasty. That is incredible. Okay, and now. We gotta talk about the heat scale, okay? So we put hot on the label here. Yeah, yeah. Got to think about it. So I know chocolate habaneros. It's gonna be so same thing with like with ghost of saffron or hotter ghost of saffron. If, and my mouth is watering, which means which means the sauce is. Hotter. I'm definitely salivating. It makes it hotter than what I like. My body feels realizes. Like it is, you know. Yeah. So you're getting a yin and yang heat again. So this is so good. Chocolate habs. There's gonna be some more oil in there, and it's gonna be hitting on the tongue, so you're gonna get the stabby pain in the tongue, and then you're gonna get the chocolate bootlas, which are delicious pepper, but you're gonna get that like radiating internal. I, I get a little bit of the the chap lip feeling. I too. got the, I got the, the chap, chap lip feeling is going on right too. now. So I mean, do you know where you're sitting in your heat scale? Not necessarily. It's hard for me. It is. It is definitely a tough one, but. One of the most comments I see on super hot videos are, "What's your heat, what's your scale? Like, if you're only at this, what's a ten? A ten is hospital. A ten is like the, we need to clarify. That. A ten is a hospital. A ten is the video ends unintentionally. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've forced always said. ending. That's what I've always said. Forced ending. That's what I've always said. Okay. Um. All right. It's it's hard for me to say this. Okay. So, are you ready? Three, two, one. Three. three. I'm at a three. It's at it's a three. A very good. Comfortable higher three though. Yes, I'm at a I'm at a very high three. Yes, it's not going into a four no. because like I'm not sweating. No, uh, my eyes aren't watering. I've got a like my mouth is watering a lot. I'm de sal salivation is the most noticeable repercussion of this. I get the the chap lip feeling, so I can't be in a two or anything like that. I'm definitely at a high level three. I, I'm calling it a high three. But I am I'm it's a good burn. Mm -hmm. Incredible burn. So, okay. I love this sauce. It's available right now. So if you if this sauce interests you, um, jump on it because it's going to sell out yeah. it, um, in the next 24 hours. It's probably going to be gone. Yeah. So jump on it. 
Uh, Zach tells me there will be more, but this is a limited edition sauce because it says limited edition right on the freaking bottle because it's a pain in the butt to make. It's a huge pain. It's expensive to make. Um, this is more expensive than it, it, Ghost of Saffron's got freaking saffron in it. Right. And this is more expensive than Ghost of Saffron to make just because of the quality and the amount of ingredients in it. So if this interests you, jump on it. I'm not just saying it because it's my sauce. I just, it's truly a special sauce. It's a very niche, niche, niche sauce. Say it right. You know? I mean, it's a mole. Like, not a lot of people know what mole is, but it's high it's, quality mole. It's, it's good. High quality mole. It's super I good. recommend picking it up. Okay. My second sauce. Um, I love it. Like I said, this is something I've wanted to make for longer than I than goes to saffron. To be fair, um, yeah, I love it. Okay, uh, check out Justin. Link in the description. Grab the sauce. Love Pick you guys. Up. All right, see you guys on next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.